Hi, I'm following along with Paul McWhorter's Raspberry Pi Lessons. We're on number 49. It's understanding images as array data sets. So um, Paul review or went into what are, what how images were constructed with a bunch of uh, nested arrays um, in, uh, in OpenCV. It's NumPy arrays that they use. So um, he went over that and um, did a little bit of coding on it, but mostly uh, he just wanted us to get comfortable with arrays. Um, I took the AI for everyone class that he put on, and uh, I was um, already uh, familiar with all that, but uh, um, it was a good review for me. Uh, one of the things that he got into about this point in the AI class was uh, uh, had us for homework create a uh, checkerboard. So I decided to revisit that for this uh, homework video to, just to get myself more comfortable with it and everything. So um, we'll go ahead over to that. So this is actually the checkerboard code here, just 16 lines. Um, it's uh, I compacted it quite a bit when back when I was doing it. I, Went through about three iterations and <clears throat> guy I like to get my code compacted so so we're bringing in open CV or CV2 and then uh, numpy I got a couple variables up here the square sizes of the uh, um, checkerboard and actually I want 25 to start out with on that and then um, we got these tuples of color so this is a red color so color R and three zeros is color black. So I'm making my um, checkerboard red and black. Um, to start out, you have to have an array to start with. So this uh, uh, this NP zeros is the way Paul showed us in the AI class of how to create a, an array that we can work with. And um, it, it's got just, uh, this is the, um, rows and number of rows number of columns and then in this three is for the three colors that we have to have in there and our data type is uh, uh, just a uh, unsigned integer eight uh, for and that that refers to what goes in these final um, uh, three here that we have uh, the other ones can be bigger than that, but this is the actual data that's in there, and this is just a reference to the array. And then to create the whole uh, array to give it a color, the, here we're giving it red, you can just leave out all the numbers and put colon, comma, colon, and it'll fill that whole thing up red, so every one of these pixels will be this you know will be here if you look at the array they'd all have zero zero two fifty five in them so then we had to go and get the black part on there so I, like i said I, this is compacted way of getting your uh uh each of your black squares there's uh 64 squares total so 32 of them are black so um this is uh looping through here i'm not going to go into why i did it this way um, if you have questions you can leave in the comments of why i did it that way but uh each one of these is creating um 16 of the uh squares i might show that which why i'm doing it with 16 here but um we're just doing that and then we're just using the open cv actually to display the frame. That's the only thing we need to uh, open CV for is to display that uh, NumPy array frame. And then of course, you know, you're gonna use your wait key and destroy the window when you're done. So let's go ahead and give us a run. And there it is. And uh, like I said, we got just the 32 red and 32 black the whole thing started out red and then we just put the black so each time this runs this like i say we got 
nested loop here. Each time it runs, each one line of this code will create one of these uh, black regions. So uh, we'll talk about how that happens in a minute here. And uh, but we'll um, go ahead and queue out of this and uh, let's. Uh, We'll take one of them out and run it again, and we can show you that each one of those creates half of it. So you can see that, so the ones that are here, here, and here, and here, that we're actually just switching it over from, you know, using that to do, to do that. Like I said, ask questions in the con if you want to find out more about it, but we got that going on. But, uh, and we, like I said, we can also increase our size to 50 if we want. That's the square size. So. so now we got a bigger one. So increasing our size is that easy. All right. So, like I said, this is how we create a region in our, in our in a, array. So, like I say, we create the big red block and then we put these little squares in there and we said, make it the black color. So, so there's a big difference between the way we did a rectangle and the way you do a, do the NumPy uh, regions that we're looking at of the frame. So let's start at the bottom with the rectangle. Um, I just put part of it in here, but the rectangle, we start at the uh, top left and we give the starting column first. Um, and then uh, columns going across this way. And then we give the starting row. So that's the top left. And then we give the ending column and the ending row on it. And that's what we did. I forgot a parentheses here, but there should be a parentheses. Anyhow, so that's the way, and we've been making the rectangles last couple of weeks. But to make the rectangles or the squares for uh, in NumPy arrays, we do it a different way. We have the start row, so we're backwards. Instead of the uh, columns, we're starting with rows. And we do the start row, and then we put a colon and the end row. So we're getting this one and then this one. And then we got the comma, and then we're going to start column and the end column is what we're getting. And then we're either making it a color or we'll find out later where you can actually insert a, another uh, array in there such as that way you could make like a picture in picture if you had like uh, uh, your video and you wanted to put yourself a, a image in here, you could do it this way and just put a, another image array in there so paul get into that in a week or two i'm sure so anyhow um that's pretty much what i wanted to I, I was doing the review and i almost stopped there but then i said oh we were doing that moving rectangle in the, on top of the camera last week and so i wonder if i can add the checkerboard as a moving checkerboard inside of that and it turned out to be pretty easy. All I had to do is really take this uh, uh, four lines of code here to do it. And um, of course, I needed to bring over my variables as well. Um, but we'll switch over to that one. So this, if you watch my video from last week about you know making a, a moving rectangle in there, um, this is the code that we were using for that. And the only thing I really did is, like I said, I, I needed to use my uh, top left as a reference point. And uh, I call it UL for upper left. And uh, that's my reference point for so that the checkerboard started at the right place e each time, you know, because we're redrawing this uh, uh, rectangle and each one of those squares, our 32 squares are getting uh, copied into it each time. So each time you put this 
thing, all you're doing is replacing whatever the, um, the picture image was in there, whatever the pixel was, as you're creating that region, that square, and you're making them all black. And we're doing that with this loop 32 times. Um, so that's what that does. And then I still am drawing a rectangle around that uh, a group of squares as well. So like I said, there's four lines of code and then I added in the uh, square size and the color up there. But uh, otherwise, let's see if we can get it working. There we got it working. Like I say, each time those squares, uh, uh, each one of those individual squares has to get put into the replacing the image, whatever was in front of that image gets replaced. Uh, with just a rectangle, I was getting about 15 frames per second, so we're down to 10. I'm on a Pi 3, so that's why it's slow. So this is even slowing it down more. I wonder how slow I'm going to be able to, to get when Paul gets into some of these uh, uh, um, where your facial recognition and stuff like that. I might, I might get like one frame a second when I'm doing that. So not sure how I'm going to make out on the pie with that one, but I know how it works on the uh, PC. And so I'll follow along with him. Anyhow, that's about all I got for today. Uh, like I said, we could change those square sizes, but you get the point. Anyhow, that's my homework for today got a lot more comfortable with uh, numpy arrays and how how to work with them in images so um, thanks paul for all you do and look forward to more lessons have a great day everybody